guys, welcome back to our, I don't know, uh, series, I guess. We really don't have a name for this yet. Um, with Lloyd again, so hi. Um, so, I don't know how to have, like, even tell you that. So yesterday, a lot of things happened. Um, yesterday was the 27th um, of May, I almost said March. Uh, my brain is not not here. Um, so yesterday was kind of a whirlwind. Disney Springs, um, they opened up World Disney yesterday, and uh, um, Sea World and Disney World um, proposed their phase reopening. Um, so we're going to be talking about some of that today. Uh, but first, we're going to talk about World Disney and Disney Springs, and um, there's also stormtroopers at World Disney yesterday. Or in Disney Springs, I should say. So we're going to talk about that. And yeah, so let's just start off first with World of Disney. And uh, we'll go from there. Um, so your input, six-hour wait to get in to Disney Springs. Or World yeah. of Disney. I think that's remarkable. A line, what a line, just to get in, just look around. Yeah, I oh. and they were open until ten. I think ten p.m. yesterday because um, our friend went. <clears throat> excuse me, last night, and they went around mm -hmm. five, and it was a lot less um, packed, so they were able to get into Disney Springs or well, mm -hmm. the Disney store, to be honest, um, which is the right term. Right. But. So I, I find that interesting how they're going to handle with virtual queues when the park opens. Yeah, they're um, in order to get into the parks, which includes all, all four, um, right. not including Disney Springs. Um, you have to, I heard you have to make reservations like you're making a fast pass or a, a place to eat. Because um, obviously the capacity is not going to be um, full as of right now. Don't know. I saw a report on the ordering food is only going to be um, through mobile order. Yeah. And they also are going to have, um, like, you scan, you scan your phone against... The picture of the menu in it, then it pops up on um, right. on your phone instead of handling um, actual menus. So that's right. interesting. Um, SeaWorld is opening June 11th, which I didn't know you told me that because I didn't watch the entire uh, task well, that's, yesterday. That's the targeted date. Mm -hmm. Um, that's what they're saying for all is, including Universal Studios, their mm -hmm. target date is June 5. And what is Disney's? So they're splitting up the parks, so two and two, um, in the like middle of July. So June 11th is MK and DAC. For those of you who don't know what DAC is, because I get questions a lot, DAC is Animal Kingdom. Just Sorry, I think it's like June, I think it's July. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, July 11th um, is uh, uh, DAC and MK, and then July 15th is uh, Studios and Epcot. Right. So, um, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. There's a lot of, you know, um, different <sighs> changes, obviously. There's uh, right. physical rings by guests and uh, cast members. A temperature checks between the two guests and cast members. Um, you know, I heard that, that they're going to have um, one of the posts or pages that I follow said that they're going to have like relaxation areas where guests can take off the masks when they're in the parks um, if they get too hot. So, um, but yeah. I want to move back to Disney Springs for a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, there were a couple of stormtroopers on site yesterday, mm -hmm. both a male and female stormtrooper. 
entertaining the guests and reminding them to wear the face mask throughout Disney Springs. I think that's pretty cool, honestly. Uh, they must have felt really cool to be back out and patrolling and, uh, you know, um, telling people what to do, you know, because that's what they do best. Um, okay. And I, I think... I, I think that was a cool thing for them to do, kind of give people a little bit of relief. Um, and uh, I'm sure they were happy, the stormtroopers. Um, so it made um, our friend very happy about it, uh, having them there. Um, so yeah, it was, uh, I think it's pretty cool. All right. so, um, yeah. Some of the other news that we, passed over recently was Josh the Amaro Amaro tomorrow tomorrow I don't know sorry like we love you Josh we're not bashing your name <laughs> if you ever watch this video we love you uh moved into the chairman position yeah that's huge. Who did they say moved into the president position? Oh, who who took over Josh's spot? Yeah. I don't know. No. I'm not sure. That that I don't know of. We'll put it in the description below. Okay. I like I when I saw that I really didn't look too much into it. I I just was like, ooh, cool, it is a higher position and you know, awesome, but I didn't really look too much further. So, but yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of stuff has been occurring. So got Universal opening up or wanting, you know, uh, opening up June 5th, SeaWorld June 11th, and then Disney in July. So, okay. yeah. Um, I think you said you wanted to know something about uh, whether we go back or not. Yeah, so for me, I don't know about you, but um, that's one of my goals is to get back to Florida, whether it's uh, doing the program again, which is what I'm leaning towards, um, just doing it all over again. That means start mm -hmm. from fresh and end. And, uh, then go from there, I guess. Um, what about you? Uh, I have a a full time uh, coordinator contact. Um, be able to go back if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, I, I do. Um, I'm just looking at realistically. Um, I'm also considering um, Universal Studios as an option. And other options. I, I want to go back to Florida just in general. I like, I like the highways there here in Texas. At least where I live at in the Dallas area, the main highways and are down one way and back up the other way. I'm going uh, north, north and south or east and west, depending on the direction of the highway. But in Florida, at least where we were at in Orlando, um, there were two ways on each side of the highway. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. I mean, where I live, there's a lot of roads. <laughs> um, so I was like used to it in Florida. Um, you know, I mean, I just loved it down there. I just loved everything about it, not just working for Disney, but just everything about where we lived. Um, you know, the, the, the city or town that we live. I miss the palm trees. Yeah. And I miss the warmth, you know. Um, and, you know, being able to have access to a lot of different 
like benefits for us, you know, regardless of working for Disney. We just had a lot of really cool stuff around us. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm, I'm hoping to get back. Hopefully, you know, they will let us know about something, you know, in the future um, because I am full force head on back to where I was, you know, so. Um. Um, yeah, I, I think that, you know, wraps it up. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, I think if you guys watch the task force meeting, they're having another one, I think, June 3rd, um, which will be on all the Disney pages, if you follow any, and, uh, We'll see what they say about that. But other than that, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought this one was really exciting um, and was really happy about yesterday and the future of, you know, our adventures with the company and moving forward with the virus. So yeah, yeah. I hope you enjoyed and we'll talk to you guys next time. Do you have anything else you want to add? No. Okay. Bye guys. Peace out.